Hi y'all. Welcome back. This is Bronwyn with Big Sky Diamond Painting here with yet another unboxing from my break. This is another painting I bought during the break. It is from Diamond Art Club as you can see. We are going to get in here, get her out of the wrapping, and we will take a look at the canvas. I know a lot of these are not news to anybody, and that is okay. I am just putting these out there in case anybody wants to see my unique take on things. Unique, I say. Oh, oh. I hope that you guys like these. I don't know. Tell me if you don't, I guess. Whatever. Okay. This is Trixie. This is a Hannah Lynn painting. The This is round with AB. It is 47 by 66 centimeters. And this is the steampunk lady that was on Diamond Art Club's heading for so long that it seemed to take forever to actually come in. So I obviously purchased her eventually. I feel like she sold out the first time. I can't honestly remember. It's been a while, guys. It has been a while. So some of these, you know, they're just... They're just old. This is one of the... I say older, but this is one of the, the paintings from the phase where... They were not rolling the canvas in the, or the drills up in the canvas. So we have them separately. That means I will likely have to unroll, roll, I'm sorry, roll the, the canvas backwards. Okay, we're not going to do that right this second. Anyway. First things first, Diamond Art Club paintings now come with a sticker. We will have the picture and the specs of the painting on one side and your color list on the other side. This is convenient because you can cut out your colors and put them directly on your containers. I think Honestly, that is the best way to do things because then you have your symbol right on the container. Now, it looks like in this painting we have three Aurora Borealis colors and 45 colors total, which is pretty exciting. Just look at that image. That image is so pretty. I am looking forward to doing this one. I think it's going to turn out super cute. We have a round tool kit, which has your clear boat, your squishy, your pen, your two plates of heart-shaped wax, your baggies, and there is a three-placer in here as well. There's a three-placer in there. This is basic toolkit for rounds. The only difference between this and a square for, for Diamond Art Club is that the squares will also have tweezers. Sometimes they'll put different types of multi-placers in there. I think now they're including four placers, but I have not unboxed any of the new kits with four placers in them yet. So I do not, cannot confirm personally, just know from videos that I've seen. So we are gonna we're gonna bust this open because it is being uncooperative. Pull our painting out. Get rid of that. And roll this backwards. As you will know if you watch any of my videos or pretty much anyone else who unboxes Diamond Art Club, it is not required that you roll the canvas back on itself. 
with Diamond Art Clubs. Honestly, I can't think of anybody who you should roll it backwards with because if you have a double adhe a double sided adhesive, that is apt to cause more more wrinkles. Um, that's apt to cause more wrinkles, and with most poured glue, rolling it back on itself shouldn't be necessary, but if it is one of those those stiffer canvases that, that is poured glue, rolling it back on itself is fine. This is the older instruction sheet, it just has a visit our store and nine step-by-step -step instructions on the back. I don't save these because frankly, I know how to do them and don't need them. But if this was a gift to somebody who was new to diamond painting, they would be very useful. Now, this is our painting as per usual with these large sizes that Diamond Art Club does, you can't really get it all in the frame. And I apologize from the glare, uh, for the glare from my lighting. But I think she's just pretty. I mean, she's so pretty. The proportions probably are a little bit wonky for, for some people, but I think she's gonna turn out really cute. And also, I mean, literally, if this painting was just that top part with just her face and her hat I would be I would be super super stoked so I think this is going to turn out really nice so again 45 colors three ABs so we've got a blue AB which looks like we've got a little bit of here in her bodice and little accents do we have any in her eyes yes we have a few in her eyes we have some little bit in the the fascinator a little bit in the fascinator there and then we have looks like probably a pale yellow number one where's that gonna be Oh, around the the smoke in here okay okay accenting the smoke and then we have two which looks like it's gonna be in these like flamey these flamey bits and around her around her steampunk goggles there and around the the gear that's going to be really nice. So yeah, Hannah Lynn's not like my, my favorite or anything, but she does have some designs that end up lending themselves really well to paintings. And I think this is going to turn out like super nice, super, super nice. And plus like, I love, I love me some steampunk stuff. So, and the other nice part is that this has a good mix of confetti and color blocking. Like for example, her face right here, that is pretty much all one color with like some, you know, some cell shading, which is going to be nice for color blocking. And then, you know, there's some confetti-ish down in the bodice. Like it's not all like true confetti where it's just like one dot of color here and there. A lot of it is like a couple of here you know, a couple of each color and then just little lines, which is something that Diamond Art Club does really well. They don't necessarily have a lot of confetti, but her hair has a lot of variation and then the, part, the pieces in her, in her hat and the feather and everything. So I think it's gonna turn out really nice. So let's flip this over so we can take another look, so we can take a look at the drills. Okay. So we have our 138, another one of those blue Aurora Borealis drills that I like so much. All those blue Aurora Borealis are just so nice. Um, so if you don't know what Aurora Borealis is, it is a kind of iridescent coating. It's kind of, it's really hard to see. 
on this one. I hope it shows up a little bit better in the camera, but it kind of just adds a little sheen on top of the, the regular shiny crystals. Oh, goodness gracious. Anyway, let's just go through our colors here. This is the string, of course, that has more of the accent colors where there's not as many of each separate color. I love those greens. 550. There's another Aurora Borealis, 131, which is a pretty orange. Love that. Then we have some of these. There's good old 666. He's got a little hitchhiker in there that's not social distancing. Not staying in his quarantine pod. These drills also look like really good quality too. That is one thing that as much as I prefer squares just because they end up looking better. Another another hitchhiker. Hope he doesn't have the Rona. There is our third AB. This one is a really nice pale yellow that I love. I love the kind of pastel Aurora Borealis colors because they end up looking just really pretty and almost understated but it it ends up just adding like such a dimension of sparkle to them when you add the aurora borealis so that is really a nice sparkly butter color and then pumpkin orange good old 947 okay and our last string of the biggins we've got some brown a couple of whites Got the peach color for the skin, really dark, dark brown. And then we have our three bags of 310, which is not too bad. If you've been watching my recent videos, you saw that I had Betsy Lynn, which is like a ton of 310. So that isn't too bad. So all things considered, I think, I think this is going to be a fun, a fun project when I do get around to it, as per usual. Not sure when I'm going to get around to it. I feel a little bit overwhelmed, honestly, with the number of diamond paintings I have. I do plan on going through my stash just to see, like, are there any in here that I don't want? <laughs> and it may be either doing some giveaways or, you know, maybe selling them at a discount or something. Just so I have more space for stuff in general. But... Now that I'm feeling better and able to, you know, do a little bit of painting, I feel better about my ability to actually get some, some diamond painting done. So anyway, that is it for this unboxing of Trixie by Hannah Lynn. I hope you guys are having a good time. Make sure you leave a thumbs up and a comment. Let me know if you've finished this painting. Let me know if you're looking forward to doing this painting. Subscribe if you would like to see more of my videos. I've got more unboxings on the way. Probably some whip and chats, uh, Christmas stuff, that kind of thing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.